Hello friends. Now we are going to start the chapter aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. Before we go into the details of these three hydrocarbons, let us first discuss the carbonyl group, which is, you know, a part of all these three hydrocarbons. So first and foremost, what is carbonyl group? This group containing carbon-oxygen double bond is known as carbonyl group. Right? Now, aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acids, all of them are, you know, hydrocarbons having this carbonyl group and that is why they are also called carbonyl compounds. In aldehydes, this group is bonded to a carbon over here and a hydrogen over here. In ketones, it is bonded to two carbon atoms, whereas in, uh, you know, carboxylic acids, it is bonded to one oxygen and one hydrogen, right? Now, since this is the main, uh, you know, functional group of all these three compounds, let us see the structure of this group, right? Okay. So, see your double bond. When this double bonded carbon, known as carbonyl carbon, this one is called carbonyl oxygen. So when this carbonyl carbon is bonded to a carbon and a hydrogen, which means, you know, an alkyl group over here, but it is bonded to carbon and hydrogen over here, the compounds are known as aldehydes. When this carbon is bonded to, you know, alkyl groups on both the sides, we call them ketones and when, when there is a carbon bond on one side and oxygen on the other side we call the compounds carboxylic acids. So friends, aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acids and uh, you know two other compounds acyl halides and acid anhydrides, all these compounds contain carbonyl group. So it becomes, you know, essential for us to understand the structure of this group. What this group is like. First and foremost, the bond types. So uh, here we are. The bond between carbon and oxygen is a sigma bond. This bond, right? The lone pair on oxygen. So oxygen formed a double bond, right? It still has four, uh, two lone pair of electrons extra. So, lone pairs act as clouds over here and are found in these orbitals, right? What are the bond types? These are the, you know, essential facts. The, you know, CH bond length is 1.12 angstrom. CR bond length is 1.5 angstrom. The angle between H and O is 121 degrees and angle between C and R and O is 1.2-125 degrees. Alright, so um, all the chemical reactions of aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acids are based, you know, most of them are based on the structure of this carbonyl group. More so on its nucleophilicity and electrophilicity. Interestingly, this group is a nucleophile as well as an electrophile, right? Why so? These two lone pair of electrons on oxygen make the oxygen carry a negative charge, right? Because of that, carbon carries a relatively positive charge, right? So now, friends tell me, oxygen carries a negative charge, so what will it attract? A positive or a negative? Positive, right? And what do we call the atoms or molecules that attract positive ions? We call them nucleophiles. So what is nucleophilic over here? Carbon or oxygen? Oxygen is the answer. Right? And what do we call such compounds wherein there is a differentiation of charges? We call them polar compounds and a diaper moment is associated with those compounds, right? Similarly, carbon is the electrophilic, electrophile in the carbonyl group, right? So these are the two, three essential things about carbonyl group. 
uh, you know, oxygen acts as a nucleophile, carbon acts as an electrophile. These are the bond lengths and these are the bond types.